Well, well, well. So, you're finally ready to give up a life of thumbtacking playing cards that you found on the street to your walls and calling that decorating. You're ready to move up to frames. Art in frames. Well, it's not easy, okay? And I am not the person that should be telling you how to do this. But we're all alone out here, babe. It's just you and me. We're gonna have to figure it out. So today, we're learning how to hang pictures like an adult. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am talking about hanging pictures um, because that's what I've been doing at my house. I started doing this actually, um, maybe like a month ago. It's been a long process because I've been sort of dragging it out, but I am finally finished. You can see there's frames on the wall. I should not be the person to take you through this process because I really was making it up as I was going along here. But if you want to join me, um, you know, maybe there's something interesting in there for you. Um, if not, there's definitely some shots of nibbles, which hopefully that will entertain you at the very least. Whenever I see a magazine for free somewhere, I like take it, go through and pull out any pictures I like and keep those pictures. So I have like a weird stockpile of just like a bunch of pictures from like magazines or if I find pictures elsewhere like from calendars or like anywhere I find a picture I like, I just save it. I also have been saving up art that um, friends have given me or I bought from friends or whatever over the years and I just kind of have it um, in my office to use for like projects or for things like this obviously. This part I did not shoot. The rooms I'm focusing on today are my living room and my kitchen. I went through all of my art and magazine cuttings, whatever, and just pulled out anything that went with the color palette. So this first thrift store I went to has is like relatively big, at least for this city. So there's like a lot of frames here. A lot of them are pretty weird. <laughs> Got the queen here. Uh, okay. I bought that one. Bought this one. Derbyshire. Got that dragon. Look at all those frames. This store is my favorite one, but it's like really small. Had to check out the Halloween section first, obviously. Even though I do not need decorations, definitely got that. Definitely bought this. And whatever this is. <laughs> and their frames here are so inconvenient in these bins. Like you have to like take the bins out and it's like honestly like pretty annoying to get in there, but their prices are really good. So if you're willing to do a little hunting, you know, worth it. Found a few there and now I'm just casually strolling uh, home. You can see from my shadow all the giant amount of frames that I got. <laughs> yeah, I filled like two of these bags. Ugh, I'm surprised I bought this. There's a lot of weird impulse purchases today. This is like pressed flowers and it says like, it looks really old, like maybe 70s but hand-picked flowers, leaves, and grasses from our Canadian fields and forests, you get originals. Yeah, like the label looks really old. <laughs> Look at that face. Beautiful. <laughs> this one is a wild choice, but I love dragons. And I just thought it was too funny and I like pink. And anyway, I'm gonna change the picture inside because I feel like dragon on dragons like a little much 
Oh yeah, this weird thing. Down below there's a naked man, like, can you see, like, fighting with the lion? I don't know what's happening here, but I am so down. This one is actually so cute on its own, this little bird just, like, chirping away. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Leopard fruit, baby! Yeah, this one, I do not like this picture, um, but the frame is really nice and basic, and I've got some stuff I can put in there. Oh yeah, this one. Ooh, so over the top, but I love, I love, I love these colors. I actually don't even mind the picture. I might keep it. Oh yeah, this one. This one I actually like, kind of like the, oh, there's a crack in it. Damn. I still got charged $6.99. Gosh darn it. So this, <laughs> can you imagine? Look at this. Oh, so this I found before I went to the thrift shopping that I actually filmed, but I found this only a few weeks before. I wasn't even looking for frames, but I was in a thrift store and I was like, this is like nibbles. Like this looks exactly like nibbles and it's the exact color scheme for my kitchen. Like I almost feel too blessed. I had some big frames and I didn't have art big enough to put in them and I also had some art that I like couldn't ha like there was no frames that fit it perfectly so I like combined them all um, it's pretty glary so I just kind of made like a random collage out of stuff that went with the color palette so that I could uh, fit this art in <laughs> Nibbles is here to assist. Um, she's actually an incredible decorator, so I'm uh, lucky to have her. Um. <laughs> I've laid out all the papers relatively flat on the ground because why do cats always know the exact, like, when I, they love to crinkle paper, I guess. So I already went through um, and kind of went for some kind of theme because so this is the section for my kitchen. In my kitchen, I'm going for like kind of like pastels relatively, um, kind of heavy on the purple side of it. Um, so I've tried to um, pick out art and stuff from magazines or whatever. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on how this should go? There's a few pieces that I know for sure I want to go in, which is this piece that my friend Emily made. She sent me recently. It's like so cute. It's like literally the perfect color palette. This is like a bit more neon than the rest of the color palette but I want to have this up somewhere in my house. My friend Andy made this. It's me as a mermaid saying my, I guess, catchphrase, which is, oh, that's nice, um, because I say that constantly. The other thing I really want to put up is um, this friend's picture. They're sort of, they're all like sharing these milkshakes together, and I feel like for my, it's kind of, it's in the color palette I want, which is like these pinky purple pastels. I guess those are the only things that are like, I mandatory like have to have on the wall. Okay, so I'm just going to start experimenting with putting pictures on top of frames and seeing what fits. So one of my other tips is that <laughs> when you're buying frames, check the back of the frames. The back will tell you what you're going to have to do to get the art out. Some frames, like maybe this is one of them, it just has these little um, things you have to pull apart and then it just pops out. This one, you actually have to like take the whole frame apart like with a screwdriver, like into four, these four pieces come out and then there's these pieces here. Like it's so annoying and I 
so that's something to think about is like make sure that I mean if you're really handy like maybe this feels like no big deal to you I'm not very handy so for me this feels like a nightmare okay so I managed to get the piece out of the frame without taking the full just taking one side off of it and now oh okay here we go oh this is cool very profesh so they have it all like stuck together like that which is great so what I'm gonna do is just tape pieces of what I want on here and uh, I think that should work out pretty nice. Ooh! I'm just gonna figure out where I feel like they should be seated at and then I'm gonna change the background as well. If I bring it down then there's this annoying piece of red text here but I feel like it probably should be a bit higher. You just have to accept the text. Yeah, I think somewhere like this is probably good. To go with my purple theme, I'm kind of thinking of putting this like totally intense glitter paper. Paper is so annoying, like glitter is just getting everywhere. I'm gonna be excited for it to go back on the shelf and behind this frame so it can stop getting all over. Like just doing that cut, like now like I'm just like covered in glitter. <laughs> down the middle so it's like this is like not perfect at all but I still think it's pretty cute and fun. Ah okay so we have our first frame. Okay so I put everything in the frames. And this is how they're going to be laid out on my wall, I think. If you are a smart person and you thought about this when you were buying your frames, like you actually measured your frames to, or measured your art and went to the store and got frames that actually fit the art that you got and you checked the back of the frames to make sure that they weren't broken or that they actually had things to hang, then you're fine. You can just skip this step because you're a smart person. If you are not, um, then you're gonna have to do what I did, which is you need to go to the hardware store <laughs> and buy picture hangers to attach to some of your frames because some of your frames don't have. I got uh, these masks for only $1.25. Ooh! Yeah, I got a new candle holder, my new, I love Yankee Candle. 
Let's make this like a very romantic project we're doing right now. And let's light a candle. Did you see that? <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. for our project. So I was pretty bummed because there's a kind of back, a kind of hang, hanging thing called, uh, it's like picture, it's like sawtooth picture hanger. It's like kind of like jagged, like And those ones, I know how they work, but they were out of those because I guess everyone is feeling like doing projects or whatever this weekend. So. I got two different sets and I'm hoping between <laughs> these two we can figure them out. When I was getting rung out, the person like rigging me out was like commenting on my candle choice, was talking about her favorite scents. She told me I looked like I was a pumpkin spice <laughs> person. I was like, well, you happen to be very right. The only problem is I'm supposed to have a hammer for this and I do not have a hammer. so. I'm gonna try to jam it in with my hand and then use the back of this if I need to. Just supposed to, so there's these little pokey bits. I don't know if you can really see. All right, all right. And I think you're just supposed to like jam them in and then hammer. It's working! It worked. It worked! <laughs> this is where it starts to seem complicated, but actually this is the easiest and fastest part, or it was for me anyway. So these are the frames I'm putting up. Some of the frames I'm putting up in my living room, just the ones I'm putting on this. I have this like big, empty wall, so I'm putting most of my frames up here. I kind of focused on doing either black and white or skin tones, yellows, or greens. I basically first just laid it out how I thought I probably would want it on the wall to start, and now we are going to trace out the frames and put them up, the tracings up on the wall with painter's tape just to see if we like how it looks before nailing it in. So I have painter's tape, scissors, and just some kind of like, you could use newspaper too, actually. I just have this pad, this like giant sketch pad with this kind of like newsprint, very light kind of paper. So I'm just using that because that's just what I have. I don't have any newspaper. And a ruler just in case. Now this one is almost the size so I just lay it on top. Yeah, this one is pretty much, so all I'm gonna do, and you can use scissors, but like most frames have a pretty good hard edge. You can actually just pull, if the paper is light enough, like, like this kind of paper or newsprint, it's just gonna peel really easily. And That's our first one. And now you flip the frame over and you put this on top. You can, I just like doing it by feel. I feel where, like, you know, where the nail's gonna go, like where the hanger part is. I make a little dot and then I make a big even leave it on here and nail the thing through this and just tear it away once you've done nailing it. Now you know exactly where to nail it. And for these smaller ones, I'm just gonna trace it and cut it out afterwards. I 
also with my ruler, some of them, there's like a big, just a big space in the back where you can put the nail. So you don't know exactly where the center is. So I like to actually just measure it out. Okay, so that part is all done. Now I'm just going to start hanging stuff and see if it looks okay. Normally, like, so you're supposed to hang pictures at eye level. I'm kind of short, so I tend to hang my pictures really low, but because this place has low ceilings, I want to create as much height as possible. So I'm gonna be hanging the pictures a bit higher than I usually would. I'm sort of imagining that I'm like six feet tall and hanging them that way. I don't know if that really will work, but I'm trying it. just what I had down here but I kind of feel like these need to come down a bit like I feel like it's all sort of going up and I want it to be kind of balanced so I'm gonna try bringing these ones down and uh, see what happens. yeah I think that's pretty good I've never done this process before because I've always been too lazy but this is actually kind of cool it's like not hard to do and I kind of like the ability to like make sure you like how everything looks um, before you do it so pretty great put the hang them up but then wait a couple days before you actually hang the pictures because I noticed over the couple days when I was looking at it there was like a few minor adjustments I wanted to make and I'm like grateful I had that time to do that so hang your templates up move them around and then the final step. I, I probably could have done it um, myself, but my landlord offered to do it because he's handy and knows how to do it. And he's, yeah, he said, he just was figured that he would do a better job of it than I would, which is true. So I didn't shoot any of that because I just sort of have a feeling he does not want to be in these YouTube videos, though who knows. There you have it. You have now hung pictures like an adult, at least sort of. And definitely, I guess as a final tip, this is only if you're a perfectionist. I find that I get very, like I found with all of these steps, so like when I was putting the art together, there was like, at certain points, I just had to be like, that's good enough and walk away. Like this, I think the reason, I've been living here for over a year and I haven't put up photos. And I think the reason why I haven't is because I know that once I start a project like this, I can get kind of obsessive and spend way too long just like obsessing about the details and it just drags on for an eternity. So my advice is just to like, give it a good solid 70% and then throw your hands up and walk away. Because there's a lot of the like, the collages and a lot of the stuff, the way that I put it up that I'm not in love with, but like, I feel so much pro um, happier that the project is actually done. And for me, that's kind of the real key. Even the way that they're put up, like I am no longer even that into the way that they're up there. Once it was up, I was like, I had a minute of being like, oh yeah, I like really like this, this is great. And then I was immediately followed by being like, no, this should have been there. This is too high, this is, you know, just my brain doing its thing. And, but I'm trying to remind myself, as I would remind you, that uh, 
nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And I kind of think it's better to have a job done mostly well um, rather than a job not done at all. And for me as a perfectionist, I think that's kind of what I have to go with. So this, the frames aren't perfect. The way I, like the way I framed them isn't perfect. They're not hung perfectly. It's all imperfect, but that is okay. Um, Cause I think it's good enough. So yeah, give it a solid 10% and then be proud of that. I hope this weekend is good for you. And I hope that you have as much kindness and compassion for yourself and others as you can, because this is a challenging time and we're all doing our best and that's not very good. <laughs> So have grace for yourself and others because sometimes we are shitty and uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a good way to end this. <laughs> Make an offering to uh, Lady Algorithm and you can do that by liking, sharing, subscribing and hitting the notification bell and I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next Friday. Bye.